Hey everyone, welcome to another training video in SC200 Microsoft Security Operations Analyst series. This video covers the module on Implement Windows Security Enhancements and is part of the learning path on Microsoft Defender 4 Endpoint. The key module objectives are understanding the attack surface reduction in the Windows, enable attack surface reduction rules on Windows devices, and configure the attack surface reduction rules on Windows devices. This is one of the important feature of the Defender 4 endpoint that allows you to mitigate the risks of your Windows devices by configuring the attack surface reduction rules. You will know about them in details in this video. My name is Navneet Kumar and I'm a Microsoft certified trainer. If you are new to this channel, then please do subscribe it for future updates. The Microsoft Defender 4 Endpoint offers a comprehensive set of attack surface reduction capabilities to minimize the potential entry points for attackers. There is the set of capabilities available in the uh, attack surface reduction rules and these capabilities are attack surface reduction rules that is a set of predefined security rules that are designed to block or alert on the behaviors typically used in attack techniques like the script execution, credential theft, or the malicious file execution. These rules can be customized to fit the organization's requirements. Next is hardware-based isolation, a security feature that isolates the potentially risky applications or processes from critical system resources using hardware-based virtualization, making it harder for attackers to compromise the operating system. Next is application control, which allows the administrators to define which applications are trusted or allowed to run on the device. It helps preventing the execution of any malicious or unauthorized application while whitelisting the safe applications and blocking the unknown or any harmful one. Next is exploit protection. We can protect the systems from the exploits by using a combination of mitigations like uh, uh, data execution prevention, uh, DEP or address space layout randomization, ASLR, and the control flow guard CFG to make it harder for the attackers to exploit the vulnerabilities. Next is network protection. Network protection blocks or alerts on attempts by malicious applications to connect to untrusted network locations. This prevents the command and control CNC communications or exfiltration of the data. It works by enforcing the DNS filtering and blocking the known malicious IP addresses. Next is Windows Defender Firewall, which provides a robust firewall protection by filtering the inbound and outbound network traffic based on the predefined security rules. This helps to prevent unauthorized access to the devices and the network. Next is Web Protection which prevents the users from visiting malicious or harmful websites by using the reputation-based filtering and blocking malicious URLs. It is designed to protect against the phishing, malware downloads, and the other web-based threats. Next is controlled folder access. This protects the important folders from unauthorized changes by malware or ransomwares. This feature restricts the access to the sensitive folders and only allows the trusted applications to modify files in these protected areas from external sources. Next is removable storage protection. This limits the ability of the external USB drives to execute any potentially harmful programs by blocking or restricting access to the removable storage devices. This reduces the risk of malware infections from any external source. These ASR capabilities work together to minimize the attack vectors, providing the layered protection for endpoints and helping to prevent the threats before they can execute on any device. Well, now that we have discussed about 
the ASR capabilities. Let us look into the attack surface reduction rules. Number one, we have some of the sample ASR rules like to block the executable content uh, from the email clients or the web mails, block all office applications from creating child processes, block office applications from creating executable content, block office applications from injecting code into other processes, block execution of the potentially obfuscated, obfuscated uh, scripts or use advanced protection against ransomwares. These are some of the sample rules listed here. Next is the rule mode. We have different rule modes like off or not configured, which means that the rule is inactive and providing no protection at all. Whereas we have block, the rule is actively blocking any malicious activities. Whereas we have next the audit. This is a kind of soft policy. The rule will log and monitor the activities without blocking it. Whereas the warn allows the rules to warn the users but doesn't block or take actions automatically on them. The deployment options of these attack surface reduction rules is through the Microsoft endpoint. We can do it through the configuration manager. We can do it through group policy, PowerShell commandlets. In Microsoft Intune, we also have that option. We can do it through the mobile device management tools. For an instance, you are using some third party MDM solutions like the uh, VMware workspace or any other solution like mobile run. Well, this brings to the end of this module on configuring the security for the Windows devices using the attack surface reduction rules. Later in the lab exercise demonstration, you will see how to configure these ASR rules. For that, stay tuned and do subscribe the channel for future updates. Thank you.